Hello, welcome to the West Ham Grumble on Irons United with me, Alf Gasparo. So, what a week it's been in the West Ham world. Yes, uh, the lads went off to uh, sunny Spain for a training camp. And when they came back uh, for the game against uh, Fulham, it almost appeared as if they were still on holiday for the first 15 minutes or so. Um, look, we could have easily gone down 2-0. Fulham opened up the scoring uh, in the first couple of minutes. You know, it, they looked half asleep, uh, really. Uh, and then slowly but surely, they got into the game, started to dominate possession. Uh, and, you know, got a first goal from uh, Hernandez uh, with his kind of head or maybe his quiff that got it into the back of the net. Um, yeah, that was definitely a poacher's goal. Uh, and then uh, second goal by uh, Diop. Yeah, great header, you know, from... Uh, from the crossing from the corner so you know all around uh it was a good recovery from the lads and it took us into half time and all was dandy now second half uh, was a bit of a nervous affair i thought yes we sort of dominated possession but still fulham still looked dangerous on the attack and i've got to say mitrovic for me was probably one of their key men if you notice he what Although he didn't actually do a lot, um, he actually held the ball up quite well. He was strong up there, and I thought the threat could come in from some, you know, cross, you know, low-level cross or you know, high ball, and he'd latch onto it. He almost had a couple of half chances that was, you know, missed. We had a couple of uh, last-minute interceptions that stopped them getting in on clean on goal. You know, it was nervous. You know, I had a bit of a bit of a nightmare at half time. Couldn't get to the bar, couldn't get a hot dog or a burger or anything. So I ended up going to the pick and mix stand and getting a full bag of fudge. And I was just sat there nervously, you know, scoffing my face full of fudge. Well, there you go. Uh, that says it all, doesn't it? It's probably just, you know, tells you why I'm this size. Anyway, um, so it was a very nervous affair. And uh, there was lots of oohs and ahs and near misses. Then an Altovich came on. And you know what? Overall, I thought, you know, he, he did all right. He get, got in amongst them. He showed a bit of endeavour. So, for me, you know, he had a, a couple of half chances, you know, a couple of efforts. So, not bad at all. Then the main man came back for us, you know. Um, what a roar from, you know, the stadium when uh, Lanzini, came, Lanzini came on. Fantastic, I thought that was. And you know what? For the first few touches, I thought he was a bit cautious. And half of me was thinking, don't go in for a challenge. You don't want you to get injured again. But you know what? He did well. He, he got in, linked up well with the play. And, uh, you know, he for a couple of moments, I thought he could have taken a shot. Actually, in the last 20 minutes or 10 minutes or so, when we were actually getting closer and closer to scoring again, a lot of us were getting frustrated, you know, because we were getting into the box. And nobody was taking a shot or not taking a shot early enough. And possibly that's what we needed to do. Uh, but eventually, you know, the kind of link up play and then, you know, a couple of efforts. And then Antonio headed it in. And what a great effort he had. Look, what a great game he had. I thought he showed a lot of purpose going forward and a lot of drive as well. You know, and some of his flicks and everything were coming off as well. So really good. Overall, a lot of the players had... A decent performance, I think. Again, Fabianski for me saved the day in defence. Diop and um, I was going to say about Bueno, yeah, how much we miss him. Now, old Bonner, uh, you know, th they were solid in defence. I think Zabaleta yeah, possibly was suffering a little bit in the first off, although he was trying. It's good to see Fredericks come on. He was like a galloping goose, wasn't he, in the second half? Some of his runs were amazing. If we can la link up with him a little bit better, I think. He's going to be forced to be reckoned with down that right-hand side, especially with that pace. Amazing. Um, Left-hand side, Creswell, I thought was just solid all day. Yeah, a couple of times he you know, misplaced passes or you know, wasn't well. But as he got into the second half, he was getting further and further upfield. You know, getting through to the byline. I thought, you know, a couple of better crosses. And I think we would have, you know, done really well there. So overall, back four and keeper, back five, if you like. It did really well. Central midfield, yeah, look. I think Noble did all right. I wouldn't say he had a fantastic game, but he was solid. The same with Rice. I thought he had a you know a great game again, but I wouldn't say it was magical by, by any stretch of the imagination. Anderson and Snodgrass, I thought, were great. Uh, first half, you know, especially Anderson, and then I think I thought it was right to bring him off in the second half, definitely. Snodgrass just showed loads of endeavour. However, this is going to be my grumble uh, for this week, and it's not that we we, we won, uh, it's not that we went down in the first half, in the first few minutes rather, or we should have actually gone 2-0 down. 
I think it's the quality of Snodgrass's corners and crosses were, you know, I think it was about a 40-50% hit rate, really, of missing the first man. In fact, at one of the corners um, in the second half, Anderson came over and, was, you know, it's almost going over to Snodgrass and saying, no, I'll take it, I'll take it. You know, you're obviously struggling here and Snodgrass is going, no, 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 bugger off, I'll take it. Um, so I think, you know, I think other players could see that he wasn't beating the first man. But, you know, then he, he put a couple of perlers in and everything was dandy again. So I think, you know, the consistency of those crosses, whether they're from the dead ball corners, you know, free kicks, or whether from, you know, open play crosses, I think we've got to look at the quality of that. Um, it's hard to grumble about something, you know, when when we've won and we've come into a match and we've come back, you know, come back into it. A lot of us were thinking that it would be an easy win. I was a bit more reserved. I thought it would be a narrow win. And, you know, for the whole of the second half, pretty much, I was, as I said, I was getting nervous. I was, you know, chewing the nails and, like, my bag full of fudge and white, white chocolate buttons as well. i got to say I had those as well. Um, and it was just, you know, it was a nervous event until that third goal went in. But we were beginning to dominate and dominate. And I think this is one of the problems. It was turning into one of those games where we were dominating but I thought at any moment they could easily break free, you know, break through our back line, our defence, which was still showing signs of vulnerability and they can nick an equaliser here. You know, it, it, it reminded me of so many games that we've had in the past. I remember a couple of seasons ago, was it a couple of seasons ago, maybe three seasons ago, I can't remember, we had West Brom. Um, yeah, it, it would have been our first season at the at the London Stadium, West Brom, we were beating them 2-1 and then they scored in the last minute and it, you know, you could see it coming and I had that kind of feeling, you know, oh God, they're, they're going to equalise in a minute and that's it. It'll be another two points lost, another win, you know, lost. We, you know, that's that was my feeling. But, you know, had it to the lads, they kept on plugging away, they kept on going for it and, you know, our front line, even the subs, Lanzini and Artovic had an impact which is, Really good to see. We need to see our subs having an impact. We've got great players. I think when they're all singing on song, we've got a really good team. I think once we've got those injuries back, I think we'll have a great squad. We definitely need to reinforce in the summer. How many of these current players we keep? That's the big question. But, you know, the rumour is that Pellegrini and Azulios and the club as a whole are already planning the transfers in the summer now. So let's see who, who we keep and who we, you know, get in. Um, but look, great result from last night. I thought the, the performance was getting better, but I thought the determination was there and the will to just keep on trying new things and keep on going forward. And I think Pellegrini has got that instilled into the lads. It's just to keep on driving forward, keep on going up. Very reminiscent, I've got to say, and I hate to say it, but a bit of a Sir Alex Ferguson in there, very much of just keep on going, just keep on going right to the end. You never know what's going to happen. And I think, you know, if you can instill a little bit of that tenacity just to keep on going, I think our results, you know, you know, come thick and fast. Look, we've got some tough fixtures coming up. You know, everybody has tough fixtures. Of course they do. But I think we can pick up points or we can save points, you know, in the tough games, get eke out draws and go and beat these teams that we should be, um, beat it, especially at the London Stadium, especially at, at our new home now, I suppose. Anyway, let me know what you think. Leave comments below. Let us know uh, what you thought of the game with the performance of individuals. You know, I thought we had some great performances. And we had some great performances and we had some kind of acceptable performances uh, there um, last night or depends when you're watching this, of course, when we beat Fulham 3-1 at the London Stadium in the evening. Uh, you might have seen us uh, a little bit before uh, on the channel at uh, the West Ham Supporters Club at Stow Space, which I've had quite a few people ask me exactly where is Stow Space and where is the Supporters Club. Well, the new home for it, the Match Day Bar, uh, is on the uh, just outside the stadium, just outside the west side of the stadium, West Stand, uh, on the kind of the northwest side, if you like, uh, just across the road, and it's just across the canal. So you just go uh, past the fiver side, Astro pitch, uh, over the bridge, and then do a uh, left, and there you are. You can come in uh, as a guest to pay two, three pound a guest, or you can become a member of the supporters club. They're really good. 
and we'd welcome you there. I'm sure everyone, it's a friendly punch and it's really good. And they're proper West Ham fans there. I shouldn't say that. We're all West Ham fans, but you know what I mean. It's a really good place to go. And just if you want to, you know, get in the atmosphere just before the game and after as well. So uh, that's where, you know, we're individuals will be there or collectively will be there for pre-match games or, or pre-match activities uh, before each home game. Anyway, uh, please subscribe to Irish United. Check out all the other shows as well. They're really cool. And uh, leave loads of comments, as I say. Hit that notifications bell. And I'll catch you on the next Grumble show, whenever that is. Could be coming soon. Or maybe if we keep on winning, you'll never see a Grumble show again. See ya.